Friggin' Chicken recently challenged several random people to a taste test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's listen for which one they preferred. Ma'am, care to participate in a taste test? Here, try this leading brand of chicken. Ugh! Oh my gosh! Is that weak old fish? Now, try this. Oh, oh! This is some good f- chicken! What is this? Sir, take a test for me? Sure! Um, hmm. Oh, oh. Seriously, job these up your a- Here. Try this one. Mmm. Hey. Mmm. Motherfucking great chicken right there. What is this? It's friggin' chicken. This is cat, right? Are you feeding me cat? Try this. Holy fuck. Fuck, that's good. What the fuck is this? Sh- Nine out of ten people preferred friggin' chicken over the competition. Why? Cause that's some good fucking chicken. I mean. Friggin' chicken. Friggin' chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie, and the talking pig, and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a glandular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! <laughs> She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. <laughs> Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to make a deposit. <laughs> Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BMC. Say goodbye to yellow teeth and spots in your dirty dishes. It's incredible. Look at that shine. Your smile or these dinner plates. <laughs> Harnessing the secrets of ancient Egypt, now there's a dishwashing detergent so powerful, it doesn't just leave your dishes spotless, it actually whitens your teeth. <laughs> Patented timely spirit toys remove caked-on food and grease and remain on the plate to be absorbed into your food to clean your teeth while you eat. Dazitron, the dishwashing detergent of the future for cleaner plates and whiter teeth. Last year, Democratic candidate Michael Redmond bought a sports utility vehicle. Three months later, there were two separate incidences of hit and runs by an unidentified SUV in his area. Is Democratic candidate Michael Redmond to blame? Can you afford to take that chance? Can your children? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate that has never committed vehicular homicide. Democratic candidate Michael Redmond has never publicly stated his opinion on child pornography. Is it because he's hiding something? Would you want a child pornographer voting on this nation's laws? Could you trust your children's future to someone like that? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, the candidate that is committed to locking up child pornographers. Democratic candidate Michael Rebens recently sued Senator Robert Thorne for accusing Rebens of being a murderous child pornographer. But Rebens had previously said he was against clogging up courts with frivolous lawsuits. Wouldn't this make him a hypocrite? Would you want a hypocrite as your next congressman? Would you want your children to become hypocrites? Vote Republican Senator Robert Thorne, a candidate not accused of being a murderous child pornographer. In a world where people live and die. Do you think you can just go in there and handle this by yourself? If that's what it takes. He was about to meet his greatest foe. Kill them all! All of them! And a girl. Hello. Hi. And a comic relief sidekick who won't make it to Act 3. I picked the wrong month to cancel my life insurance. No, don't say that. You're gonna make it. With a guy from that other movie that was slightly popular, and what's her name, from that show you sometimes watch, in a movie with two spectacular CGI battle sequences and an advertising campaign that will leave you no choice but to see this film. See it. Because it's a movie, and all your friends are going. In theaters Friday, and on DVD in three months. Phil's here. Gotta run. Great breakfast, honey. Have a good day, dear. I'm glad you liked the muffins. Hey, what's that on the counter? That's not my margarine. That's butter. It's... Bitch! You know I'm supposed to watch my LDL levels. I I thought it would be a nice change. You couldn't even tell. You don't want a divorce. You're trying to kill me. I'm glad I slept with your sister. I thought it was margarine grade B butter. Other ends the taste of margarine with all the saturated fat of butter.
You are on fire, Bill! I finally took your advice and you were right. I feel more confident than ever. You the man! Isn't it great? I couldn't even believe it. We went out to dinner and afterwards we started getting busy. I went into the bathroom to take it. I could feel it right away. Hell, you could see the title change in the toilet bowl. The Visatrack. For an ordinary drug enhanced direction, just isn't enough. Common side effects include fainting, tingling in extremities, temporary blindness, deathly pallor, time perception distortions, aggravated bladder syndrome, emotional incest, pronounced incontinence, delusions of grandeur, and elevated risk of stroke. Grandpa, will you take me to Space Burger? Space Burger, huh? You know, when I was your age, space was mostly a mystery. We didn't know what was up there. Why, I thought there were little alien kids on Mars that might be watching me. Yeah, I used to make signs for them saying, Hello, Martians! Or, give me a ride on your rocket craft. Of course, I was young and naive, thinking Martians could read English. <laughs> Everyone knew Martians communicated telepathically through space operators on their moon base. Billy, what did I tell you about talking to Grandpa? But I want to go to Space Burger. Space Burger? This looks like a job for Commander Mom. Report to the space van. Oh, boy. We can drop Grandpa off at the home on the way there. Of course, you don't see Martians on space probes. <laughs> Everyone knows Martians live in invisible domes. Space Burger, food for the space age, not old age. Money troubles need cash quick. Why not try mugging someone? These are exactly the kind of questions the criminals are asking themselves right now. Did you know that the government requires you to wait 10 days for a gun? Why, in that time, a criminal could kill your family 50 times over. So how does a law-abiding citizen like yourself get a theft deterrent system in their hands in the next hour? Come to Loophole Lenny's. We've got antique military weaponry from blunderbusses to World War I grenades. Modern muggers may be stronger and faster than they used to be, but that doesn't mean they can take a slug fired by a Civil War era pistol any better. And if you're the kind of person that can't sleep at night knowing serial rapists might be in your front yard, we've got German sniper rifles approved by the Kaiser himself that'll make picking them off one by one from the safety of your roof no problem. Buy a weapon this month and we'll throw in an ammo belt with the Constitution printed on it free of charge. Loophole Lenny's, defending your tomorrow with the weapons of yesterday, today. Ah, oh, would you look at this? What's that? Plague of locusts descend on small Indian town. Jeez, I can't imagine what that must be like. And look at this. Civil war still raging between ethnic factions in Eastern Europe. Yeah, heard about that. And in Zimbabwe, they got to use ox carts for ambulances. That's terrible. Hey, it's a good thing we live in the U.S. It sure is, buddy. Hey, bartender, two more U.S. ales? U.S. ale. Welcome to the United States of Inebriation. Does your penis always seem to be getting in the way? I got the last of the groceries, honey. I just need to close the trunk. <laughs> One more nail and this birdhouse will be as good as new. Yo! I'm sorry, sir. This dressing room is for women only. You don't have to let this happen to you. Hi, I'm Dr. Fred Tuck. Don't let your penis interfere with the quality of your life anymore. I have performed over 300 sex changes in my career, and not one of my patients has ever asked for their tackle box back. Come to Tuck's Sex Exchange in the next month, and I'll give you a free estimate. Don't let your peace interfere with your peace of mind. Tuck's Sex Exchange, located off Beverly Drive. Look for the sign with Toothy, the surgical saw. Tired of sluggish internet access? Mom! The Internet's all slow again. I'm not your mom. I'm the creature that evolved out of your mom. Sick of unwanted spam. Oh, oh, another email message from my old college roommate, Rod Uges. Oh, oh, my. Computer problems make it frustrating to log on? Error 432, Network Access Remote Server Memory Allocation Assessment Table Exceeded. Hard drive reformatting will now commence what? Looking for something that requires no logons, no unwanted email, coherent sentences, and no technical problems whatsoever? Read a book. Books. The Original Internet. Terrorists are prepared to destroy the largest dam in America. Again. If then G-bomb goes off, this Hoover will be caught with his panties down. And only this renegade cop and his ex-wife's manicurist stand between destruction and unexpected love. I'll just file you as D-O-A. 
This summer, all bets are off. The heat is on. The fix is in. The dogs are out. The game is up. The chips are down. The stakes are high. The odds are low. The danger is huge. The payoff is slim. Friendships will be made. Rules will be broken. Wrongs will be righted. And no unturned stone will be left. Uh... Get ready to be turned inside out and upside down. Hoover 2 Hydroelectric Boogaloo. The best damn movie you'll see this year. When I'm grinding the reverse Poindexter 540 to Ollie northbound the contraband, I can't think about being loaded. That's why every morning I down a pound ground, a gentle extreme waxing sports drink. Because when you're pulling a wicked Skull Cross 720, you don't want anything to slow you down. Preparing for a business sales pitch but don't know how to sell your ideas? Try virtual meeting. So if we divert advertising away from expensive television spots and spread it around full-page ads in the leading men's magazines, we can... That's an idea, but here is what I think we should do. But I didn't finish. Yes, that's a good point, but everyone listened to my idea. But I think... That's true. However, I don't think that our target market will be willing to accept such a radical approach. Listen to what I have to say on the subject. Are you ready? Good. This is a winner. And virtual meeting doesn't just help with meetings. It can also prepare you for debating your ideas on the Internet. So, I think if the Democrats are going to have a chance at the office, they are going to have to embrace the more liberal sect of the voter bloc. Shut up. F*** hard. I majored in political science. I think I know what I'm talking about here. Laughing out loud, you are so gay. Virtual meeting. The only meeting preparation device to own. That was a good idea, which was mine originally. F*** hard. In 1984, a generation of children were introduced to a toy that became an instant classic. Twenty years later, that toy is transforming to blend into a whole new environment. Hey, Bob, right? Mind if I borrow your stapler? You want staples? Get some of these, Execucon! No! Take control of the noble office bots as they wage slave their secret war against the evil Execucons. Hey, I'm gonna be here pretty late. Do you mind if I get a cup of that coffee? Graffitron transform! <laughs> Coffee is for closers, office bot! Collect 30 different corporate robots as they battle for workplace supremacy! Look out, Optical Mouse Prime! It's cell phoner! I've got your number, employees, and you're all getting called in this weekend! Office bots, transform and clock in! Deformers! You live. You die. And sometimes, you get brought back to life. This fall. I'm afraid. I can't see too well these days. Do you think you could go to the nearest village and pick me up a loaf of bread? Bread! Good! The new horror RPG from Troika Games. Bread! Oh, I can tell you where the bakery is, stranger. But before I do, would you mind picking up my little girl from the lake? You are the monster. Ah! Or are you? If you want to enter this bakery, you'll have to defeat me. And this torch! Frankenstein, breadlust, coming soon to a PC near you. Game! Good!